A very good morning and welcome to Adventure Sean on what is going to be a pretty iconic day both for me and this channel. Today I'm going to be climbing Ben Nevis, the tallest mountain here in the United Kingdom at 1,345 meters above sea level. And you know what? I'm really excited but I'm also absolutely terrified. I'm not an expert in climbing at all uh, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try my best to reach the summit and I'm really really nervous but I just can't wait to get out of the car and just go for it so I've arrived here nice and early it's just gone 8 35 a.m. I've got here onto the car park at the Ben Nevis Visitor Centre just outside of Fort William in Scotland and there's about space for 80 cars here um, so you probably want to get here early to make sure that you get a space and of course you want to make sure you're here in plenty of time to get up Ben Nevis and back down again on average it can take about seven to eight hours to complete the journey all the way up uh, spend some time on the summit and then come back down so fingers crossed i'm going to make it to the summit we're going to see in this video it's going to be a journey that i can't wait to share with you all uh, and yeah i'm going to get everything ready shortly and start the climb so yeah i'm here quite early but already a lot of spaces are starting to fill up there's a few um that are about still but yeah it's nice and easy with the car park you pull straight in off the main road um it's six pounds to park here all day there's a visitor center that's open um, as well and there's also toilet facilities there there's no toilets up on Ben Nevis itself so in terms of how the journey is going to start of course there's various different routes I'm going to be taking the mountain trail today um, that's the most common one that's used by people um, and yeah I'm going to be taking the mountain trail before it used to be like a pony track to actually uh, get people up there um, to go to what used to be like a weather station up on the top and if I make it to the summit I'll have an explore around there and uh, show that for you all um, but yeah this is going to be an incredible journey so I'm going to get everything um, sorted put some more comfortable um, clothing on I've got loads of layers I've got a compass I've got a map just in case the bad weather comes in at the moment um, it's looking quite dry out there um, not really any sun peeking through um, at the moment but it's dry and that's the main thing and there's no wind at all down here of course when you're that high up 1345 meters um, anything's possible with the weather you've got to be prepared as much as there is a route I'm going to be following I've brought a map I've got my compass just in case because you never know um, how close the fog's gonna get and of course up in the clouds there on Ben Nevis so I'm gonna get everything packed up and let's go and start the journey cross the pretty iconic bridge that I can just see over there through the trees and start the climb welcome to today's adventure from Ben Nevis the tallest mountain in the United Kingdom <laughs> the visitor center about 10 minutes ago and already the views are absolutely incredible from here they really are i mean look at this let me spin you guys around look at that view <laughs> only left 10 minutes ago it's crazy isn't it and of course looking back that way in the sunshine down there you can just see fort william down there in the background so let's carry on further up this is incredible so far let me just start the adventure
So I've been climbing now for 30 minutes and I've made it to this really nice vantage point here with some fantastic views. There's also another path that comes up the side here. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, there's various different routes and other paths that lead onto those routes to climb Ben Nevis. But yeah, you can see there's a couple of benches and stuff here just to chill out, a little bit of signage um, leading down to the youth hostel. We're gonna carry on climbing this way. It looks like it's getting a little bit steeper now. Um, but I tell you what, this is absolutely beautiful. The scenery is incredible. It's a real social thing as well everybody's talking to each other and asking them how they're getting on and of course really in the grand scheme of things we still only just got started i mean look at this let me spin you around <laughs> wow it really is stunning but yeah this is getting a bit steeper now it's the steepest that it's been so far but look at that it's crossing all like the little streams running down and oh it's beautiful it really is let's carry on climbing ben nevis Five minutes into the climb and the views are absolutely spectacular look at this it is beautiful in terms of how hot i am right now i am ridiculously hot i would take all my layers off i've took my hoodie off and my coat uh, i was told bring loads and loads of layers because it's going to be cold and i imagine the further we get up the colder it's going to get but for now i'm absolutely baking hot if you're coming up here don't bring a thick coat you probably want to bring a thin one because this is an absolute nightmare to carry but it's not going to stop me. I've just been standing here for around five minutes taking it all in and I tell you what these are some of the best views I've ever seen in my entire life it is absolutely gorgeous and made even better by the sound of the water here cascading down the mountain beautiful isn't it all the little waterfalls are making their way into this big waterfall making its way down there on the mountain and from this point we can really start to see the rest of the route ahead of us so we're going to carry on up this way and then if i zoom in up there on ben nevis we can actually see some people they look very very small from this point but there we go that is where we're going to be climbing on this epic adventure so a long way to go but i'm exactly one hour in now an hour since i left the visitor center and crossed over that bridge i think it's time to carry on don't you So for the past 20 minutes or so, it's been pretty steep. I'm not gonna lie, I was really struggling um, on how steep it was down there, especially carrying this massive coat that I definitely didn't need at this point, but I'm probably gonna appreciate when I get to the summit, if I get to the summit. <laughs> uh, but here we go. So it's actually starting to flatten out a little bit here. Not as steep, but look at the views. I know I keep saying it, but incredible. And they just keep getting better. Let's carry on. And 20 minutes in now 
Like we really start to get an idea on the route just here that I'm going to be taking. I'll zoom in a bit for you. See them people walking there? Follow it all the way along and they just disappear up there into the clouds. That's where I'm going to be shortly. I want to say shortly, probably in about another hour, but I'm going to carry on down this way. It's really flattened out at this point, it really has. Nice just to catch a bit of the air. I'll tell you what though, temperature so far isn't that cold at all. In fact, I'm absolutely roasting still. I imagine that's probably due to the fact that I'm absolutely sweating climbing a mountain. <laughs> but still, yeah, really think about what you bring when you come here to Ben Nevis. Tell you what, it's quite an achievement when you look down at where you've come so far. You can just make out the pathway there all the way down the bottom there. And of course, that's not anywhere near where I started, it was all the way around the other side. Yeah, quite an achievement when you look all the way down there, zoom out, and see where I am now. Things are going well. 90 minutes in, and yeah, I'm doing really well. I'm feeling a lot better now. It's yes, of course, it's still steep but it's nowhere near like it was down the bottom there where it was a lot more rocky. Whereas here it's more of an identified path, but it's more than worth it for this scenery. I don't think we're gonna get the view so much longer though, looking at the clouds up here, <laughs> gradually getting closer to them, one step at a time. And the key to doing this is just take it easy. Get here early, then you've got all day to get up and get down. That's what my plan was and it seems to be going well so far. Whew. Look at that though, some of the best views I've ever seen in 27 years here on planet Earth. Whew. Oh wow, this is incredible. My favorite part so far. Look at this waterfall cascading down Ben Nevis. That is stunning. I'm really surprised at how little wind there is at this point. I really thought by now I'd have some wind, but yeah, no wind. Listen to the sound of that. What a fantastic point for a photo. Up here in the clouds, we can see them in the distance and we're gradually making our way into them now. It's gonna start getting a bit hazy from this point in. Incredible, listen to that. Look how clear the water is. taken isn't it <laughs> wow Five minutes ago, I had an absolutely incredible view. The clouds have really started to move in now. I've only moved a little bit further up the mountain. And yeah, look at this. It's like I'm on a different planet. It feels so weird. But you know what? I'm feeling quite positive at this point. Proceeding on. And yeah, God, I can't wait until I get to the top.
visibility pretty poor up here now as you can see if I spin you around it really is like I'm on a different planet but my hair soaks I know it's not sweat <laughs> or at least I don't think so and you know what I don't think it's rain because there's been no rain from what I can feel it's just like the residue in the air it really is just these clouds it's like that condensation sort of feeling that you get on your windows yeah it's like I've got a white background behind me isn't it this is crazy it's the biggest challenge I've ever done in my life this I'm still feeling pretty confident <laughs> end of the zigzag path on the home straight now someone's just come past me and gave me some great motivation and said about 20 minutes should be there at the summit it's literally a straight path now <sighs> tell you what this is the biggest challenge I've ever completed but I'm so glad that I've done it I really really am and yeah I'm glad I brought this coat now <sighs> just look at it I feel like I'm standing on the moon or Mars or something. Look at this. All the way around 360. Just clouds. And of course the path here is quite hard to distinguish, so I've got to really keep my eyes peeled. But of course there's quite a lot of people up here today, so not far. <laughs> seen the sun I don't think I'm too far away now it's a lot windier you feel the wind sort of coming over the top now and down this side I don't think there's far to go <sighs> Five minutes of climbing I finally made it here to the summit of Ben Nevis here we go finally after all these years I've wanted to do this finally I've done it and you know what it was a struggle three hours 45 minutes of struggle but I've made it the tallest point here in the British Isles Great Britain the top of Ben Nevis and I tell you what there might not be a good view it's only clouds but it's been absolutely fantastic what an amazing journey it's gonna sit up here take it all in 1,345 meters above sea level. Well, I still can't believe that I've made it up here to the top of Ben Nevis after all these years, and the sun is just peeking through the clouds, and it's cleared quite a nice view just over here. Look at this, absolutely stunning. The wind just come along at the right time there and made these clouds just move over a little bit. But it gives us a good idea on the height. Look at that absolutely breathtaking i'm quite emotional to be honest just seeing all this just sat here for about 10 minutes just taking it all in and had some food of course not from a cafe up here there isn't one <laughs> but yeah i brought a pat lunch up here i tried not to really eat much on the way up here i thought i'm just gonna save the motivation by having my lunch until i got up here to the top and of course i have a bit of an exploring just a moment going to see the old weather station which we can just see over to the right hand side there just around the other side of the summit absolutely incredible yeah that was some good timing because look at that shows how unpredictable the weather can be up here at the toilet tallest point in the united kingdom
in the 27 years that I've been alive here on planet Earth, I've never done anything quite as challenging as climbing Ben Nevis. And you know what? What an absolutely incredible experience it's been. I was really starting to lose motivation when I came off the zigzag path and was just on that straight home run. I was really, really struggling. But the people who'd already been up to the summit were just giving us motivation to everybody coming up, which was fantastic. And I'll be sure to do that when I head back down in a few minutes, giving motivation to them people making that final part of the journey up here. Honestly, it's absolutely incredible. I'm, I'm quite emotional, to be honest. As much as the views aren't that impressive, it's mostly clouds today. You know what? It's been an amazing experience to come up here. I wasn't really expecting to get uh, incredible views, to be honest, because like I say, on average, they say that one in 10 um, days um, are where you can see, and it's a lot clearer up here. In terms of the temperature, it's not too cold at all. I mean, yeah, it's coat and gloves weather, um, but just listen, like there's no wind at all. Listen to this. It's just so peaceful normally and in the wind you get it on the camera and you've heard that in my various videos before and even earlier on when we was halfway up uh, here on Ben Nevis but to be standing here at the tallest point for over 450 miles all around is incredible and I'm so glad that I took on the challenge to come and do this I really am it's been emotional it's been amazing and I'm just glad that I've documented it and you've all followed the journey and yeah what an experience it really has been and coming up here exploring around I've been up here for about 45 minutes looking around the old observatory here um, you've got like the little uh, box what you can go in there like the safety shelter and uh, yeah it was good how the clouds cleared a little bit allowing me to just get a bit of an idea on just how high I am in that perspective uh, now as much as it was a challenge climbing up I'm feeling like it's gonna be quite hard to go down I mean they say that it takes between one and a half to two hours uh, on average to go down of course it doesn't really matter how long um, it takes just take it in of course I'm gonna get some more footage on the way back uh, and yeah just take in the views as well and get some more photos photos when we come out of the cloud um, but yeah what an absolutely incredible experience it really has like I say I've spent about 45 minutes just taking it all in up here sat down had some food I've got some more snacks uh, ready for the journey back down and uh, yeah it's time to follow the markers here and uh, start my descent here from the tallest point honestly I've, I've never done anything like this it's, it's amazing it really really is it's been incredible and it, I'm so glad that you guys have been able to join me for the adventure here on YouTube Right, let's go for it. I think this is gonna be quite hard on the legs and knees, but yeah, I'm gonna try and find the path and uh, make my way down from Ben Nevis. Incredible. So I've been making my way down from the summit for about 45 minutes now. And finally, back out of the clouds here. And we can see something again for the first time in quite a few hours. Absolutely fantastic. But no, I'm still so chuffed. I really, really am. What an incredible experience. And just get to chill out and take in some of the nice scenery now, such as the waterfalls. Look how clean the water is there. I've actually seen a few people filling up water bottles um, with the water here on Ben Nevis. So there we go, you must be able to drink it. Obviously, I don't think it goes through uh, sort of any testing site or anything like that, but uh, just natural water. But yeah, if you wanted to drink it, I guess if you're in desperation, you could do if you really wanted to. I'd rather uh, bring some bottles up though, to be honest, but you never know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good that it is there, of course. It makes for a really nice feature all the different streams and running down here on the mountain. It's great, it really is. Right, gonna carry on down this way. It won't be too long now until I'm back on the path just down there. Of course, we can see it going across and then all the way down around that side and back towards the caravan park. Tell you what, feels like a long time since I've seen that. Feels like a long time since I've not been in the clouds. <laughs> it was like being on another planet up there. It was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm one hour and 45 minutes in to the climb down from Ben Nevis. And I tell you what, I've just had a moment where I've just sat on some rocks up there and thought, this is one of the best things I've ever done and probably ever will do. I feel, I feel like it's just such a, a big achievement to do. Honestly, I'm absolutely shattered. And I tell you what, it hurts your knees a lot and also your ankles when you're coming down. But you know what? It's more than worth it. Look at this scenery, even from this level. Even if you feel like you can't get all the way up to the summit, just come and have a walk around here. Check out Glen Nevis and uh, have a walk around. You don't need to go up onto Ben Nevis to get some incredible views of the area. But of course, if you can do it, just go for it. You know, it's well worth it. And you know, like I said, I've done no training or anything for this. I haven't come up here in like proper walking gear or anything. You know, I'm just wearing jeans, t-shirt and my sketches, you know but I've got on well, like it's gone down pretty well, apart from here where I can't uh, get it down with my camera, there we go. Oh, that's better. But uh, honestly, it's been absolutely incredible and just to see these views has been stunning. I reckon maybe another half an hour or so to get back down to the bottom. The caravan park is in view down there in the distance. So of course it's been just over eight hours since I last saw this view and I tell you what, I'm quite happy to see the bridge down there. Not too far away now, still in the distance, but not too far away from the bridge and of course the visitor centre and car park. So it's been eight hours since I started off on this epic adventure. And here I am, back on the ground, crossing over the bridge where it all started this morning at 8.45 a.m. Honestly, what an absolutely amazing experience. My knees are absolutely killing, my feet are absolutely killing, I'm probably gonna be in pain for many, many days after this, but you know what? I wouldn't change that for the world. It's been absolutely incredible. It really, really has. Whew. Well, you know what? I'm back here on the car park and I really don't even know how to start this wrap up. Today has been one of the most amazing and challenging days of my life. 27 years I've been alive and I've never done something quite as crazy as this. I've climbed a mountain. I've climbed the tallest mountain here in the United Kingdom and it's been absolutely epic. 1,345 meters. Honestly, I just can't believe it. Like, I've done it. If someone had said to me a few years ago, Sean, you're going to climb up this incredible mountain, I'd have just laughed and said, no chance. I, I'm not fit enough. I can't do that. I haven't got the time to train. But now I've done it. I've been up Ben Nevis and it's been absolutely incredible. Yes, it's been a challenge and it's not easy. It is the tourist track, um, of course, known as the mountain track now. But you've got to think, um, you know, th that doesn't mean that it's an easy ride. Not at all. Um, it's been eight hours of constant walking, um, constant pain, especially on the way back down. I must say um, it was incredible coming back down with the views, but it really, really hurts your knees uh, and your feet, especially when you're not experienced at doing this sort of thing like me. Um, but I tell you what, this has been incredible. One of the best days of my life. Um, it really, really has. And I'm so glad that I've managed to do it and document it here on Adventure Sean. Um, honestly, I don't know how much more adventurous I can get than this. Um, that has been incredible. Maybe uh, look at doing some other peaks at some point. Um, of course, I won't be able to do anything as tall as that in the UK, um, but I could maybe do Snowdon. Uh, I have actually done that before, um, quite a few years ago. So. I'll uh, yeah, have to look at filming a vlog down at Snowdon, uh, maybe do the Three Peaks Challenge, come back here again, do uh, Ben Nevis, uh, maybe do some more of the mountains in Scotland and possibly even look at going abroad and doing some there and probably not out Everest, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. What an adventure. It has just been fantastic. I just don't know how to fully summarise it, but look at that smile in my face. I've just had a few minutes just to sit on the bench, relax, take it all in, uh, get the bag off my back and put it in the car and think, you know what? That is amazing. And of course, I do a lot of traveling, mostly to theme parks over on my other channel. Uh, but this tops any theme park for me. Like doing something like this is absolutely crazy. And it makes me want to just do more, to be honest, do more stuff like this, more stuff on this channel, take you along for more adventures and explore the world. Um, you know, I love theme parks to bits. I really, really do. 
but there's so much more out there for me to discover um, in terms of these places and taking on different challenges. I think that's the thing, when you complete something like this, um, it makes you want to do more, it really does. I stood there up on the summit and I thought, you know, you know what, when I got there, I thought, this is amazing. I want to do this again. I want to do it somewhere else. So stay tuned. Like that's all I'm going to say for now. Stay tuned. But it makes me want to get more fitter. Uh, it really does. It makes you want to do some more exercise. It makes you want to start eating healthier. It's really been an eye opener today. And you guys have come along with me for this journey. Uh, what I feel is a, a changing point for my life and my lifestyle. I really want to uh, get a lot fitter and healthy uh, from this point. I really do. I'm going to try my best to do that. It's going to be tough, but um, yeah, I want to do more of this stuff. I really Really do thank you so much for joining me here on adventure sean honestly it's been an absolutely incredible trip here to scotland and climbing ben nevis and seeing the whole sort of glen nevis nevis area has been incredible it really really has unfortunately i've come back down here the visitor center's closed else i would have took you into there um but wow honestly thank you so so much for joining me on what has been an epic challenge my knees are hurting so much right now but i'm gonna sit in the car and yeah just relax for a little bit before i drive anywhere so thank you so much for joining me here on adventure sean climbing the tallest mountain in the united kingdom and yeah that leaves me with one more thing to say get out there climb mountains stay safe and of course have your own adventures see you real soon